Hey, good morning, everybody. Crypto Mentor 99 here. It is still November the 15th, Wednesday. And last week or the week before, I said something about, I thought it was kind of interesting that some of these smaller countries um, are starting to weigh in on cryptos and ICOs and Bitcoin and what their governments are doing to oversee Bitcoin and digital currencies and cryptos and on and on and on. Well, today, Central Bank of Iran weighs in. This is on Coin Telegraph. I like Coin Telegraph. Central Bank of Iran plans comprehensive. It's always comprehensive. Reviews are always comprehensive, right? of cryptocurrency policy. Well, again, Singapore is doing that. <clears throat> Canada is doing that. I applaud these three countries. So the Central Bank of Iran plans to conduct a comprehensive, got to love that word, interview of its policies covering Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. They better because it's coming. It's here. It's, a, it's arrived. The move was made after the government-owned central bank has announced that it's softening its stance on virtual currencies. In a pre press conference this month, Central Bank of Iran Deputy Director of New Technologies, Nassar Hakimi, announced that the central bank is studying Bitcoin and planning to examine its policies about digital currencies. Sweet. He, however, issued a warning, uh-oh, to investors about the uncertainty and the risk they could face in the cryptocurrency market. Given that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have not been introduced by the central bank as the official currency, as well as the risk of buying it, is it risky buying it? and the activity of traders in the field, more precautions are coming into the market because of the possibility of malice. Excuse me, that's true. Scams abound in the cryptocurrency world. Aside from Iran, other countries in the Middle East region are tackling virtual currencies. Sweet. In October, the Lebanese Central Bank claim that the Lebanese government is planning to introduce its own digital currency. I did not know that. Lebanon. Whoa. It is not clear, however, if the cryptocurrency will be based on blockchain technology. I think it will be. Meanwhile, the head of the United Arab Emirates, I love saying that, and I'm going to go there someday, United Arab Emirates, UAE Central Bank, has criticized Bitcoin's lack of supervision and regulation. Okay. Everybody wants supervision and regulation when it comes to Bitcoin and cryptos. He claimed that the non-supervision of the leading crypto facilitates the use in, and what am I going to say next? Money laundering and terrorism, yeah, terrorist financing. When are we going to get away from that? But I did not know that about Lebanon. I got to make a note of that and check some news in the next month or so. So the Central Bank of Iran, Iran, is planning a comprehensive study of cryptocurrencies. I'm glad this is another country that they're going to have to get their arms around what's best for them and their country, and everybody wants to have their own little digital currencies, either on or off the blockchain, but I don't know, it's going to be interesting. 2018 is going to be interesting, and I'm glad I'm going to be alive to see it. Hey, everybody, I got to go. Crypto Mentor 99 has to go. We'll be in touch. See you later. Bye-bye.